Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today I created a look using one shadow. Yes, you heard me, one eyeshadow. I know so many of us out there believe that we need four and five shadows to create a beautiful look and that's a lie. Lies, I tell you. Lies, lies, lies. Okay, this look is so simple and it's right up my alley. I'm all about my base and depends on the time after my base is completed determines what eye look i do and it's usually very simple one two shadows um very warm neutral soft tones is what i love to do and nobody got time to be sitting blending shadows every morning like i don't know about you but i don't so i created this look also um i will be giving away two Remel lip products in this tutorial all you gotta do is thumbs up this video and comment within the next 24 hours of this video going live and I will randomly choose a winner. So good luck to everyone who would participate in it. And um, without further ado, and this long ass intro, <laughs> let's hop into this tutorial. Okay, so here we are. So I did my edges. My daughter would be proud, Phoebe, if you're looking. Thumbs up this video because I did my edges today. Okay, so I'm starting off with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This has been my favorite go to primer of lately. It's like super glue for whatever you place over top it just literally sucks your foundation and sticks your foundation to everything it is amazing i'm being bougie as fuck and busting out my <laughs> my little fan everyone is using so i'm like why not why not join the bandwagon <laughs> i'm just gonna let this get real tacky it gets so tacky like can you see this it pulls and it just sticks everything that you place over top. I'm gonna use um, my NYX Can Stop Won't Stop foundation and I'm gonna mix a little yellow into it because it runs sort of red, just to neutralize the red. 60% of the time when a YouTuber does a makeup tutorial, it's not being seen anyway but in the house because you just do it to get content out and sometimes I feel like, oh my God, I'm wasting my makeup. But the show gotta go and you gotta do what you gotta do so a lot of time i'm doing my makeup off lately since i'm just uploading on sundays only i try to um do it before i actually go to work so i can actually use the makeup look out and not just feel like i'm wasting my goddamn makeup and believe it or not i did try to record this video already and i was like 30 minutes in and realized that i had no audio on the past couple of weeks, I've encountered so much difficulties with YouTube, like, you know, equipment wise and just filming. There's always something just not happening, something just going wrong. Whenever I'm done with a video, there's always something like so much things that you guys just do not know. Also, I'm trying a new angle. Tell me how you feel about it. I don't know. I'm like positioning my camera and stuff differently. Let me see how I like this angle today. Um, yeah, so much things happen and I just feel like it's one after the other after the other. But I'm like, you know what? It makes you feel like quitting. I'm like, you know what? I cannot quit. I have to do this. I want to do this for way too long. There's nothing that happens in life without trials and nothing ever goes smooth. There's always something. That's what I'm learning in life. There's always something you just gotta learn to roll with the punches. I don't know if I mentioned the shade I'm using. I'm using a shade darker than me. It's mahogany because my, my, my neck and my chest is very, it's lighter than my face. So sometimes I just don't want to use a foundation that's going to match that. I want to just be able to balance it off with my concealer and stuff like that because my face just looks way too light and I don't like that. So this is my second time, my second attempt of recording this video. And I'm happy I'm doing it now too because I am going to the movies like I mentioned I'm actually able to wear this makeup look out I'm gonna conceal with my um, this sort of new elf camo 16 hour camo concealer in the shade tan sand it's a bit light for me so I'm gonna mix that with something else BAM FAN <laughs> I like to make my concealer get a bit tacky before I actually blend it in so that's what we're doing. I 
am using a lot of new uh, newer products to me in this tutorial also and once it made it to the channel I did not say more it's because I'm loving it because I hardly use anything that I do not like on my channel so once it's here no questions asked I'm loving it I'm just gonna apply this a tad bit right in this area it tends to disappear a lot throughout the day so we just need to re-up on the concealer I'm also going to apply some of that concealer on my lids to act as a base for a shadow as you all know, the drill. Alright, so now I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte uh, Powder. I've had it in my collection for very long. I'm just going to set, apply some of this underneath my eyes before I actually go in with um, a translucent powder. I mean, I like doing this a lot I just don't show it on camera all the time I like using some sort of powder foundation sometimes I feel like it gives me a smoother on the eye and now that it is the summer the weather is changing um, I feel like it helps to lock everything more in place and helps to keep my oils more at bay okay so now that I have that I'm taking my Huda Beauty powder in blondie and I'm gonna bake these areas and I'm gonna use a sponge and press that in this allows even distribution of the powder. Um, it doesn't make underneath that area look so dry. It gives it a smoother effect. And it's also gonna catch my fallout on my shadows later as well. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with a powder of my complexion with a brush. And I'm just lightly tapping that first. And then I'm gonna buff in very light motions to just melt everything into my skin it's very important to tap because you don't want to move all this work that you just your base you don't want to let your base move around so you lightly tap the powder in make sure it's set and then i'm just going to go in very small buffing motions barely touching my skin very light to sort of like wipe off wipe away any of the excess powder the size of my face is more normal, dry, well it's cooler, it's hotter now so it's like more normal so I don't need to kick on and bake and make my skin look too dry. Me baking the center of my face and leaving the, the size of my face normal just creates a nice softer look and I don't look cakey at the end of the day and my makeup on the side of my face does not move anyway, it just stays and I more have issue with my T-zone. Alright, so I'm just gonna do my brows really quick off camera and be right back. All right, <laughs> I am back. Now I'm going for the eyes. I'm taking a little bit of a loose translucent powder and I'm just applying this in the area, my transition area, just to help the shadow to blend in that area. But I'm not applying it to my lids because I want my lids to stay tacky. So it can grab all the pigment from the shadow so i'm taking this single shadow that i ordered from colourpop in the name formation okay ladies now let's get information prove to me you got some coordination slay trick or you get eliminated <laughs> i have the call you guys uh i'm telling you one problem after the other so i'm taking this color on a medium size uh, shadow brush and I'm gonna pack that all over my lid first and I'm taking it right up to my crease area and when I get to like so and when I get to the crease area I'm using that same brush and I'm gonna gently start to buff the edges out to diffuse it just a little bit before I do any more blending. Now I'm gonna take this Morphe M443 brush with just a very, very little on the brush, very little on the brush, and I'm gonna start to buff the edges. I'm doing windshield wiper motions, you know the drill, and when it's diffused to my liking and there's a very little product left on the brush, we are going to do small circular motions to diffuse it even more and so that we have a nice blend and a nice gradient of the color. 
nothing looks too harsh and I'm making sure I get it all the way in the inner corners here as well I feel like the inner corner is looking a bit patchy so I'm taking a very small blending brush and I'm just gonna start to blend the inner corners more because the other brush is probably a little bit too big to give me the blend that I want here so and instantly it's done over the edges again so if you notice I'm using one shadow but with the blending of the edges it's diffused it so nice is diff diffused it it diffused it so nice that it created a nice blend where it actually looks like I did go in with a transition color, which I did not. So now that I have that, when you're ever you're working with matte shadows and you blend, they tend to lose some of the pigment. That is why I left my lid tacky so that it would stick very well. And I'm just going to just re-intensify the lid color. I didn't lose too much of it, but it's gonna pack over anywhere that got patchy okay and there we have a one eyeshadow look so i always feel like looks like this i mean you could leave it like that but i want to add a wing just to add a little pizzazz to it so that's what we're doing i'm using my ColourPop liquid liner and let's see if i can demonstrate a wing today for you guys now that i'm at a different angle so i'm first drawing a line out like so pulling this line in leaving it thicker at the outer corners and bringing it thinner in our inner corners now that i have the shape looking how i want it i'm gonna fill in that gap i'm gonna neaten it and thicken it Picking it up more on the outer corners but it's a gradual thing you have to you can't uh, well everyone has a different way of doing the wing that's the way that works best for me now that i have that i'm looking forward and i'm seeing where i need to add more thickness and fullness to the wing and even even if i do want to add thickness and fullness to the wing which i do i just feel like looks like that looks nice with a thick wing so i'm now extending the outer corners and there we have the wing I know I probably made it look simple. Thank you. Thank you very much. But um, it really does take time and wing to me, they smell fair and I never always get it right every time I do it. Everything's practice. Whatever it is in makeup is all about practice. So you got to practice and find a way to make your wing, to apply your wing that works best for you. So now I'm going to add some color into my life. I'm using my Morphe palette and I'm going to bring some dimension back into my face. I'm just mixing all the colors really so i'm gonna look at john wick <laughs> i love the john wick movies i stumbled upon these movies a couple of years ago by accident i went to look at a different movie and i was there way too late or some shit like that and i was like you know what i'm already here so i might as well pick a movie and i chose john wick not knowing anything about it because i never saw commercial trails nothing about it that and I was like, you know, I'm, I know that I'm a fan of Keanu, so I probably won't go wrong. And I loved the movie so much that I stayed in the know about it. When the second part came out, I told my friend about it and I took her. We went to the movies to see it and she loved it also. So we are going to see John Wick 3 Parabellum. I can't wait. I'm just going to take the lightest of the colors and just add a little nose contour. I always bring it up into my brows like so this is my guide my brows right here and bring it down like so so i'm getting cute for you guys i just changed my top added some earrings i have some new piercings that hurts like hell but we rolling because i feel like quitting because my ears is swollen like a fat cat but i'm like you know what I've been through worse. My nose piercing took an entire year to heal. And this piercing right here, I had that air pierced literally four to five times before it actually stuck. So I'm like, that's small fries. So I'm supposed to switch off the earrings, but it's so swollen, I can't. So we're rolling, we're rolling. 
like I wanted those piercings for so long. Like I'm like the same thing with my nose. Like I wanted it so long, I just could not, not continue with it. So it took an entire year, and that's a story for story time. I'm just adding a little bit of my Flower Beauty blush. It's a nice soft pink. I'm using this KKW brightening powder. I've always wanted this, although I feel like I have enough brightening going on. But why not? The more, the merrier. I'm gonna set with my Morphe setting spray to dissolve all the powders and have everything become like one with my skin. And I stay looking down because I don't want to crease my shadows. I don't want any creasing on my face. And I'm using my bougie ass fan. I'm like, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> We're going to take that same color and I'm gonna pack that underneath my eyes. Very small blending brush like so. Dip it into the powder and blend the edges so that it can be lower and more diffused. I love a low uh, bottom lash. At this point, you can get really creative and maybe add like a yellow, a blue, something to create contrast in your waterline, which will look lovely as well, but I'm just gonna stick with black. Okay, so I'm taking my ColourPop Just My Look palette and I wanna add the contrast in my inner corners. So, if I can find a brush, take the color Mary, Mary Jane. It's a nice green. Is that in my inner corners? And sort of drag it a little bit to the bottom lash. So perfect. Now, if at any point you're at this stage and you feel like your top shadows need to be blended a little bit just a little bit of translucent powder and just set the under eyes and it just helps the color to diffuse even more so now i'm gonna i'm just gonna complete the eyes i'm gonna apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes you can totally stop at the mascara but i'm just gonna add some lashes today actually i am looking and i'm not gonna use lashes I'm just going to double up on my mascara. I'm going to go back into the Morphe palette and I'm going to use the highlight shades. This I'm going to use these highlight shades here. A little on my chin. A bit of my nose. Okay, so we're almost to the end of this tutorial. So I'm going to line my lip with my BFF3 lip liner. Then we're going to go over that with Quickie. Blot. Then I'm going to darken the edges some more with BFF4. I'm also going to take my liquid cat suit, wet and wild liquid cat suit in Scent Nude. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the center of my lips. there we have it my one eye shadow look do you like my hair i am stepping out of my comfort zone i hate burgundy reds <laughs> it is not my cup of tea just putting that out there so that's a complete look hi if you're new here my name is rachel welcome to the family thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe share all that good stuff it really helps and i really really appreciate it um everything i use will be in the description box so be sure to take that to check that out all my social media links and how to book me because i am a nail technician and a make working makeup artist out here in brooklyn so i hope you enjoyed this look and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday bye guys